Welcome to Talking to the Void. I'm Steven Santana. You can follow me on Twitter at number 8 Axel. Get all of that out of the way, first thing, because I just want to talk about The Last Guardian. So today, The Last Guardian was delayed. And does that matter? Yes, it does. Now let me explain. So people are talking about it, and the reason that they're talking about it is because the developers behind this game, The Last Guardian, also created Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, which were very critically acclaimed games at the time. Uh, emphasis on the latter. Shadow of the Colossus is a game that people still talk about uh, is in very beloved terms, which I also kind of share that sentiment. But they haven't aged necessarily well. You go back and you play the HD versions of Ico and even Shadow too, and they kind of show their rough edges in modern times, in 2016. And for The Last Guardian, the question is, is it going to be as critically acclaimed as their last efforts were? Uh, with it being so long in development, will the game feel like a 2006 game when it started development? Is it going to show its age in its gameplay? Because it is technically a PS3 game that was basically ported up to the PlayStation 4. Um, people have been waiting, and with so few details and so much anticipation reminiscent of No Man's Sky, it's a hot topic, and so the delay does matter, because it makes people pay attention to it again, even if it is sometimes negatively, and other times positively. Some people are okay with that because they cling to the sentiment of something that is uh, commonly attributed to Shigeru Miyamoto, even though I don't think we ever have a 100% source on that, but basically that it a bad game is forever bad, and a delayed game is eventually good. Although, not always. Duke Nukem Forever, maybe Shadow of the Colossus, or The Last Guardian, we'll see. I don't know. Um, basically, the delay itself is from October 25th to December 6th, 2016. So, about two months, maybe? Uh, a little bit less than that. Six weeks, I think, was the term that I saw earlier. Shuhei Yoshida was the one who posted on the PlayStation blog explaining this. And he said, A delay is a difficult decision, particularly with this game. But we have encountered more bugs than anticipated while in the final stages of development. To ensure that The Last Guardian delivers on the experience that the game's creators have envisioned, we need to take the extra time to work on those issues. So is the delay inherently bad? No. Does the delay serve as a call to concern? I would say yes. Uh, and I say this because a delay means that the game was not at the bar of quality that the developer wanted and it wasn't going to reach that bar in time for release. This doesn't mean that the game itself is bad, it just means that it needed more time to get better before they put it into people's hands. And according to Shuhei, basically The Last Guardian has more bugs than anticipated, which really could mean anything. Uh, delays are impossible to avoid, especially this generation. Pretty much the only game you can rely on to release on time is Call of Duty, which will always hit that election day, beginning of November schedule. Every game gets delayed. Uncharted 4 got delayed, No Man's Sky got delayed, Hyper Light Drift got delayed, Final Fantasy XV has been delayed, Persona 5 has been delayed, Horizon Zero Dawn was delayed, Tacoma was delayed, Breath of the Wild was delayed. Do you really want me to go on? Some of these games have been great. Some of them probably will be great. Others haven't been so good. Others that are coming out probably won't be awesome. But the delay may be the commonality between all of them, but the quality isn't. Like John Lasseter, who, who used this term to refer to Pixar films, it holds true to games, I think, as well, which is that they're never really finished, they're just released. So, is it something that everybody needs to get worked up about? Probably not. The Last Guardian is going to come out. I have a standing bet with my friend Danny, and uh, basically the bet is that the uh, average Metacritic score will be less than 80, I think? I think it was 85, 80, I don't know. I'm confident either way that I think The Last Guardian, because it has... So much history behind it is just not going to live up to people's expectations, even if they are trying to separate it and divorce it from that long history of delays and weird development stories between Ueda becoming a contractor instead of actually staying on the team that he worked on for so long. And things like that have, you know, been cause for worry, but I was also super worried about Uncharted 4. That game came out, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I have some criticisms for it, sure. But I still really liked that game. I thought it was a high-quality game. Perhaps not as good as Uncharted 2, but that's like a different conversation. So that's just what I wanted to say. It's a hot topic. Things and people, blah, the internet, the usual sort of stuff. So I just wanted to throw myself in there as well. Also, it's Monday night. I don't have anything else to do. Waiting for the TGS conference for Sony to start up. 
So that's it for this week for Talking to the Void. You can subscribe to Illustrious Magic. We do dumb stuff on this channel. Uh, I recently redid my room so I could record uh, old VHS tapes that I found. So that should be fun. And yeah, other than that, you can follow me on Twitter, like I said at the beginning, at number 8 Axel. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great week.